Hey guys, I really debated on whether or not I was going to do this video or a video about like this topic because one, it's something I've dealt with personally for most of my life and it is kind of, um, it's one of my biggest insecurities, you know, and I know it affects a lot of people and, um, it's something I've struggled with for a long, a long time, like more than half my life. So... But anyways, it's not going to be like super depressing, hopefully. I'm like not meaning for it to be. And like if it is, I'm sorry. Um, it's not like, oh my god, you know, life or death. Or, I mean, anything. It's not like super, you know. Anyway. But I wanted to talk about my weight. And this is going to be a video talking about weight. So if you're triggered by like weight, weight loss, you know, anything like that, then it's probably not the best video for you to watch. I mean, there's not going to be, like, any showing, in this video, there's not going to be any, like, showing numbers on a scale or, um, like, calorie counting or any kind of pictures that have anything like that in it. So, it's just me talking. But, I don't know. I thought about making this, like, kind of a series. Because this isn't just for, like, you or for viewers. This is for myself as well. Because I kind of want to look back on it and see, you know, like, where, if I got anywhere and, like, the progress I may have made, like, you know, in the future, I can look back and be like, okay, I started here and I'm now here, you know? So, I'm overweight. It is not a secret. I'm not delusional. I'm aware, you know, I've been overweight, like, since I was a teenager. I mean, I wasn't just, like, morbidly overweight when I was a teenager, but I was, you know, overweight. And it's like, progressively, I've gained more and more weight, you know, over the years. And I struggle with mental illness as well, like mainly like anxiety and depression and when you have anxiety and depression it fucks with your motivation and your productivity you know it makes you just not feel like doing anything you don't want to leave your bed you know and it's like you want to mentally you think inside your head you want to go do things you want to be productive and you want to be motivated to do things but you just physically feel like you can't or you just ugh, you can't you can't motivate yourself so i struggle with that you know and you know, a few years ago, I did lose, like, I lost, I don't know exactly how much, but I estimate it to be around, like, 50 pounds, you know, because over the years, especially, you know, from being, like, in my, um, late teens to early 20s, like, I wanted to lose weight. I mean, this is gonna sound really bad. I have not been diagnosed with any types of eating disorders. I have not been diagnosed with like binge eating disorder or like bulimia or any of you know those things and I mean I don't really talk I do go to therapy now I don't really talk about those things a lot but I have not been diagnosed with any of those things as far as I'm aware but like when I was younger like in my teens and early 20s you know I used to wish that I had an eating disorder like I used to wish that I could have an eating disorder and be like anorexic that's how bad I've felt about myself. And it's like over the last probably like four or five years, I mean, I'm clearly not necessarily better, but I don't feel like I used to, you know? Like I don't feel like, oh my God, I wish I had an eating disorder. I want to be like skinny by any means, you know? Like mentally, I feel a little better about it, if that makes sense. Like. I still have my down days where I'm like, I compare myself to other women, you know, I'm like, God, I wish I looked like them, and I wish I was skinny like them, or I wish I could eat whatever I want and be skinny like them, you know, or they're so pretty, you know, and they can wear whatever they want, and they can eat whatever they want, blah, 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 you know, but I mean, I can, you know, I'm aware that, like, if I want to change my, my, you know, image, you know, if I want to change the way my body looks, I can do that, you know. It's just, like I said, just motivating, motivating. Like, a few years ago, when I was working at the place that I said in another video, it stressed me out a lot, you know, I would be constantly moving around, like, all day. Like, you didn't get to sit down, and if you did, it wasn't for very long, you know, so you're constantly moving. And then it was, like, after work, I would walk. I would go on, like, long walks, you know, just to get out of the house, keep moving. I was, like, competing with myself. Like, I had a pedometer thing. Um, that would show how many steps that I walked, you know, and like every day I would try to beat the day before, you know, like I would try to get more and more steps in, more and more steps in, you know, and I want to get back into doing that again, just 
because, you know, just kind of like, it's a good little competition with yourself, it's like a healthy competition, you know what I mean? And I tried to get into running. I would still like to. Like, I want to do the color run someday. Like, that sounds like fun to me. Doing 5Ks, things like that. The thing is, though, is I want to have, like, a workout buddy or a running buddy or somebody, you know, to, like, do things with me. Because it makes it more fun. But I don't have anybody around here that wants to do that. But anyways, if you watch my gym fail video, I'll try to link it wherever, you know. And you'll see why I don't run. Because every time I run, I get hurt. So... But anyways, like I was saying, I've had for a long time a very unhealthy relationship with food, you know, and like mental illness and all that. And it's like also, um, not last year, like 2017, I think I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism, which didn't surprise me because my parents have it as well, you know, and I'm very overweight. Like, duh, hypothyroidism is like a low underfunctioning thyroid, you know. And also, I have low iron and anemia and all that shit. And I'm just like, well, that's great, you know. <laughs> But, and the thing is, is like, the, my living situation, like right now, like I don't do all the grocery shopping and I can't afford to, so it's kind of like, I kind of just have to deal, I have to eat whatever's in the house, you know? And it's kind of like, the person does the grocery shopping, gets a lot of things that are not necessarily healthy, but it's not just about what you eat, it's about the amount that you eat too. And I'm very bad about like, overeating. I'm an emotional eater. And I eat when I get stressed out, you know. I wish I was like my sisters, man. Like, when they get stressed out, they don't want to eat anything. And I'm like, man, I want to eat everything in the house. So, but anyways, like, and then it's also like, I did a few, a few years ago, like I said, like, I was cooking for myself. Like, I was not overeating. Like, I would eat just enough to where I felt satisfied, but not, like, super full, where I felt like I didn't want to do anything. You know, I would get out of the house, and I would you know, be active and things like that. And I did lose a lot of weight. And I didn't really go to the gym, because like I said in my gym fell video, that didn't work out for me. But like, I don't like going to the, a regular gym anyways. It's not fun to me. Like, I would rather go to like a ninja gym, like an obstacle course thing. Like, I want to do something fun and untraditional. You know what I mean? Like, I would rather exercise in a way where it's, it doesn't seem like a chore, if that makes sense. But, um... Yeah, so I lost like around 50 pounds. I'm not sure on the exact amount, but I mean like it wasn't a short amount of time, but it's and also I got sick during that time that same time that I was losing a bunch of weight. I got sick and I couldn't eat hardly anything for like a week and a half and dropped even more weight. So it was kind of like I was getting all these compliments from everybody and they're like, oh my gosh, have you lost weight? Like you look so good. Like you're looking like so skinny, which I mean, I wasn't skinny at the time, but I mean, like I was a lot thinner than what I was. Like I was under, um, I was under 200 pounds, you know, which is good because I'm like right now, I don't know what my weight is, but <laughs> it's way over 200. So I got to work on this. And I was like, I didn't know it at the time, but I was also like, kind of intermittent fasting like I didn't know what that was at the time but that's what I was doing also like I wasn't starving myself but it was like I wasn't like I wasn't eating like like all day every day like I would eat you know like after I would eat like so after so many hours you know and then like try not to eat so close together to where it was like you just piling piling on you know what I mean like give my body time to digest what I've already eaten. Also, I was drinking plenty of water. And I mean, like, there are a lot of people that don't like to drink water. I used to not like to drink water either. But it's like, when you start making yourself drink water, you crave more water. So it's kind of like, it doesn't taste bad or whatever like you did before. Like, you actually like to drink water. You drink water all the time. And then I got out of drinking water, you know. So I'm trying to get back into drinking plenty of water again. I'm like, I don't work out right now. You know, I mean, you could tell... Like, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm making these videos also for me. It's kind of like, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's kind of like something I can look back on, you know, like a video diary, I guess. And that way, maybe I'll actually be able to stick with something instead of just giving up, you know, being like, oh, well, nobody knew. So, you know, like maybe it'll keep me accountable. That's the word. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's something, like, I would like to discuss with my therapist a little bit more, you know, and just kind of get her thoughts on that situation. Because, like I said, I haven't really talked about, like, all of that. But, 
it's kind of like it's disappointing to me honestly when I look at pictures of myself from just like a few years ago just like a couple of years ago and I'm like man look how thin I was you know even though I wasn't really thin you know it was kind of like I even wore a bikini I mean like that's something I haven't done for a long time like since I was a kid and you know even one of my really good friends like she's like blunt you know like she'll tell you like it is like even she was like yeah you gained a lot of weight and I'm like thanks bitch like I already knew that but you didn't rub it in my face shit but I mean it's like I said it is one of my insecurities and it's like I have a big butt too I said that in another video and it's kind of like other people they don't get that either they're like oh I wish I had a big butt and I'm like I really don't like I don't because some people are like, yeah, but, you know, your body shape makes it look good. You know, you don't look fat. You just look slim, thick or something. No, I don't. I look fat. Fat. You know? So, like, and then, I mean, like, I just look at my face and I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, I have no neck. You know? And when I look back at pictures from a couple years ago where it was like I was slimming down, my face was slimming down. I was like, you can see my neck and everything. And I was like, oh, my gosh. You know, back then I was, like, so happy because I was like, in your head, when you're, I mean, you could be any size or shape. In your head, some girls will just be like, you know, okay, once I lose this amount of weight, you know, I'll be attractive. I'll be pretty, you know. I'll be, you know, popular and, like, people will want to be around me. Like, I'll go out and do things. And, and then it's like, if you, either if you don't lose weight or if you gain it back, then it's kind of like all that went away. But it's like you really didn't have more than what you had before. You know what I mean? It's like you think you're going to change. I mean, some people do change mentally as well as physically, you know. And it's like, I do think I got out a little bit more, like, out of the house. But it was, like, at the same time before that, I was already trying to get out more and, like, walk around. And, like, instead of driving to places, if I could walk there, I would. And it's like, I want to get into doing that again. Like, taking, you know, fat stuff out for more walks and just kind of being more active. Just, that's the thing, is... I can sit there and think in my head all the time, like, I want to do this, and I want to do that, and I wish I could do this, and I wish I could do that, and I'm tired of doing, you know, saying I want to and I wish, and I want to do it, you know what I mean? Like, I want to get out and stop thinking about doing it, but actually do it. So, but I'm thinking about, you know, trying, I mean, like, I want to lose weight again, you know, but I want to do it in a healthy way you know because like I said in the past I had very unhealthy ideas about how to drop weight like I used to not a lot of people know you know but I used to take laxatives like all the time I mean like in the past couple two or three years maybe I haven't really done it like probably in the past year or so but it was like I used to take laxatives all the time like I never threw up because I honestly I was upset with myself because I couldn't make myself throw up yeah, like, I literally was mad at myself because I couldn't make myself throw up what I ate. Unhealthy. So, but, like, I would take laxatives because I'm like, well, it's got it's going to come out some way, you know what I mean? And then it was like, some I've tried to starve myself in the past. I don't think I necessarily ever really tried to, like, over-exercise because I'm lazy. <laughs> but, like, well, I would walk a lot, but I don't really know if I would call that, like, over-exercising. But, I would think about it constantly, like, how to either lose weight or to not gain weight. Because in my family, you know, like, out of all my siblings, like, out of my sisters, you know, like, I'm the bigger one. Even though I'm the youngest, I'm the fattest one. Like, my other sisters are, like, slim, you know, and everything. And I'm just kind of, like, constantly, like, look at them. You know, they're so skinny and pretty. And then it's kind of like, I look like a toad. But, and then, like I said, it's it's also disappointing when you lose a lot of weight and then you gain it back, you know, and you have to face people. And then it's like when they were giving you all those compliments before, you know, about how great you looked and how skinny you looked and everything. And then you gain it all back and then it's kind of like, mm, whatever, you know, back to normal, I guess. And it's not necessarily like what I was doing before wasn't working. It's just, it's just like... I didn't keep up the routine of doing it, and I fell out of doing it, you know, and then I got, you know, like, I was eating healthy. Like I said, like, it wasn't just like I just ate, you know, vegetables all day every day. It was like I was eating smaller portions, you know, like I wasn't eating to where I was just so full, you know, I would eat to enough where I was fine, you know, and I felt good, I'd just go about my business, drink a lot of water, be active, you know, 
and then it's like I started and I wasn't eating like all day every day I stopped eating past a certain time you know like the, like intermittent fasting or whatever and then it was like I got into eating like junk food a lot and just kind of not drinking as much water drinking a lot more soda and just not being as active and then here we are so I really do want to get back out and be more active you know and eat better and like be healthy about it and not just think to myself about how I, I want to be skinny by any means necessary you know and it's not even necessarily that I want to be skinny like I want to feel good you know what I mean like inside and out like I want to feel like I have energy to do things you know I want to be able to feel good in the clothes that I wear and the skin that I'm in you know what I mean like I want to not stress about going to the store and looking at clothes and being like oh they're cute but I can't fit them you know because they're too small or whatever or you know like I don't want to go shopping for clothes because I know none of them are gonna fit me and it's just like or going you know when you're skinnier friends you know or like hey let's go do this when it's like involving me like summertime like let's go swimming and you're just like mm. like no you know you know like I don't want to so Sorry this got down and depressing. Like, I really wasn't meaning it to. Like, this is just an introduction to hopefully a weight loss journey, you know? And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to film. Like, if I'm going to film, like, you know, things like foods that I'm going to eat. Or, like, I mean, I might try. Because I have some ideas of stuff that I like to, that I got into making a few years ago that I really do like. You know, and like, healthier alternatives to things, I guess. Or at least healthier to me. You know, and, like, being out and being active, you know. And... Like, if I do, I know some people have problems with seeing numbers and things like that. If I do any videos in the future that involve, like, numbers on a scale or calories or, um, <coughs> excuse me, or anything like that, um, I will put a trigger warning so you know, so you don't have to watch it, you know, and get triggered. But, um, hopefully in the next video it'll, um... I'd be a little bit more clear about, you know, the weight loss part. Because, this, like I said, it's just an introduction. So, wish me luck. And if you're on a weight loss journey, good luck to you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.